What is up, Coretics? Welcome back to the Chop Shop DLC update. Drip feed in this video, we're we'll customizing the brand new Gauntlet Interceptor. Again, Rockstar did market this new little mini farm raid cluck and bell thing uh, as a new update, but basically it is just drip feed um, from the original update. Uh, but anyways, uh, Gauntlet Interceptor. We also got the Cluck and Bell Benson and the Canis Terminus. All three of these released at the same time. So in the last video, I already did the Terminus. This one, we're going to be focusing on the Gauntlet Interceptor. I don't think the Benson needs a video. That's just a Pegasus vehicle. So yeah, um, Gauntlet Interceptor. Very, very expensive vehicle, but it is a long-awaited vehicle too. But $5.4 million for its normal price is ridiculous. Even the trade price at $4 million, that's still pretty expensive. So this vehicle is not something you can just log in and buy straight away. The buy it now price is actually locked when you first log in. Um, so to unlock this, you have to do the first um, mission uh, called Slush Fund with Vincent. Doesn't take that long. Um, you visit his icon here on the map. So when you first log into the game, just kind of play the game for like 10 minutes, then you're gonna get a phone call from Vincent. After that phone call is over, visit the yellow V on the map, go to it, listen to a little cutscene. It's like five minutes long and then do the first um, mission, which is um, slush fun. It takes like 10 minutes or so, maybe less, maybe five minutes if you're quick. Um, and that's it. Then you unlock the actual gauntlet interceptor. And then if you want the trade price, you have to complete the entire cluck and bell farm rate. So yeah, but I already went ahead and bought it 5.4 million as much as it hurts, but I wanted to get this video out a bit quicker for you guys. Um, so here it is. Wow. That is, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Never thought I'd see this in the game. I mean, if you would have told me they were going to add in a Gauntlet Hellfire cop car, eventually I wouldn't have believed you. But uh, here we are. This, this, it's so cool looking. Something so simple, but yet, I mean, it's just, it's just cool. Some people think it's stupid in the community that I've seen, but I mean, I personally think it's cool. I, I definitely like it. Is it overpriced? Yes. <laughs> Is it cool? Also, yes. So, for those of you who don't know what it's based on, primarily based on the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Y body. Um, now, there is a story on a, um, a car that was seized by the Texas police, and they turned it into a cop car, which I think this is what this is referencing, most likely. Um, so, that car, they, they went on a long chase, the story goes, and the guy actually, you know, he was escaping the cops. He wasn't crashing or nothing like most of these guys do that run. They crash eventually. This guy actually, he got caught because he ran out of gas. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. He literally ran out of gas. And then they, they seized the car. Um, and they were awarded the car um, by, I guess, the, the county, whatever. Um, and they turned it into a Hellcat. It's, it was actually a Red Eye, too. So a Hellcat Red Eye police car. So... Quite wild that story there, but um, all right, let's go ahead and check out the customization and stuff. Gauntlet Interceptor. So for some reason, this thing is in the emergencies class, but they didn't call it the Gauntlet Hellfire Interceptor. They just called it the Gauntlet Interceptor, which is kind of surprising. But I guess maybe they wanted to keep the name short. I don't know. But anyway, armor, brakes, bumpers. So you got primary splitter. So you have a lot of the same customization copied over from the, the standard Gauntlet Hellfire, but like different color variations. I do like the Carbon Splitter. Um, don't like the secondary contrast though. We'll do the Carbon Splitter rear bumper. You can do the wheelie bar, the parachute, that's funny. Um, engine, exhaust, so you got big bore, you got tuner. You got race, you got the side exit and titanium side exit. Again, mainly customization from the standard um, gauntlet, Hellfire. I guess we'll do the tuner. Grill, you can do grill delete. Secondary, black. Primary, open. Secondary and black. I definitely like the open. I think we'll do the black open grill there. Headlight covers. You got all the customization here from Hellfire. Yeah, it's all the same customization. I do like the stock grill though. Hood, you have a smooth hood, secondary carbon with the vented, secondary. 
So you can definitely mess around with the, the color combos on this. They get all the different blowers. All right, we'll do the primary vented. Lights, do some xenons, liveries. So you have all the liveries here. It comes with the light one for some reason, like halfway through. So let's just go to the beginning here so we can show all of them. So you got the plain, none. So you wanna black it out, do more like a stealthy, um, you know, Hellcat cop car, you can do that. I think you can remove the lights on top too. So that, that'd be an interesting one with dark tints and all that. Um, so you got the LSPD, the modern, Technology. state trooper, I love that one. Highway Patrol, probably my favorite one. Sheriff, Richmond, wow, there, there's just so many different ones. Obviously this, these are pretty much the same from the, um, the Stainier LE Cruiser. Wow. You can think it, I can do it. Man, you got the LSPD drag team, <laughs> that's sick. And the race team too. That's awesome. Man, very well done. I think the Howie Patrol is definitely my favorite. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, police equipment. Aerials. So again, lots of stuff here from the, you know, the Stainerelli Cruiser. Same customization. You get all the different. Wow. Attack Array. That's quite ridiculous. I think I'll do... I mean, you have a lot of different... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll do this one. Good. Search lights. Oh, that's awesome. Basic, folded, raised. Driver's side. That's awesome. I think I'll do the single raised right there. Emergency lighting. You can remove it. Look at that. No emergency. Man, that's that's sick. You mean they're saying like an undercover Hellcat police car? That that's pretty sick. Get all the different lights. I do like the one that's like a V. The what's the difference between? It doesn't let me move the cam. It's like limited camera movement here for some reason. Life is hard when what's the difference ready. between these two? Kind of hard to tell, but I guess I'll go with this one. Push bars. Basic. Patrol response. That's sick. Oh wow. An interceptor, I like the interceptor one. Tactical salt. That's awesome too. I do like the interceptor push bar. Let's do that. This thing's so cool, man. I love it. Rear panel, stock primary, Making secondary, carbon. And you got all the hellfire. Okay. I think we'll do the carbon. Respray. Lime green. No, I'm kidding. Um, I think I'm going to keep it with the black and white. I mean, but here you can see the primary color. And the secondary is going to be this section here. Ooh, blacked out though. That's sick. That That's that's pretty sick. But the black and white still looks good too. We could do the tan one. Kind of like, like the cream or kind of like the, uh, like this. That that actually looks cool. That That I do like. Okay, maybe we're onto something here. Yeah, <clears throat> kind of like the state troopers. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I, I quite like that actually. Um, roll cage. If you want to do a roll cage, you can do that. I feel like that's a bit. Uh, I don't think it fits fits this one well. Different race seats and stuff. Yeah, I don't think that fits the cop car vibe. Um, yeah, no, we're gonna skip that. Especially with all the equipment in here. This is ridiculous. There's just so much going on in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's too much. Too much. Okay. No roof. Carbon roof. Not do that. Skirts. Primary. Secondary. I'll just leave it at standard for now, I guess. Spoiler. Secondary. Plastic. Carbon. My gosh. It's quite crazy to see the combination of the, the standard Hellfire customization with this Hellfire custom, well, the Hellfire customization mixed with the Stainier LE Cruiser customization. It's just so weird. I mean, it's cool, but it, it's a lot. It's, it's, um, wow. I think I'll go with a plastic. We could do the carbon as well. We'll do the carbon, why not? Suspension. I don't think I want to lower it, even though I do think it kind of needs it a little bit. We'll do that one, I guess. Transmission, turbo, wheels. The stock wheels are cool. 
I don't know. I feel like I want to give it more of a custom look. I, I'm wondering how the cheetah, the cheetah RRs look on this. Mm, damn, that looks good. But this looks good too. It's so tough. Oh man, it's so tough because I do like the stock cop car wheels. Oh, it's such a tough decision. I feel like we should keep the stocks just for like that cop car look, you know? Even though the cheetahs do look good, but I feel like it looks more legit with the stock wheels. So we'll, we'll keep that. Windows, I mean, most cop cars have their windows blacked out, so we should definitely do that. And that's all the options there. All right. Um, exit to ground. That is so cool. Like, I absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. It's raining, of course it is. Um, cop lights. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, the spotlight works too. The bull bar lights work too. This is the cool. This is literally the coolest thing Rockstar has ever added. <laughs> that is amazing, man. That is so cool. I I love it. All right, <laughs> Lord. No plate. I didn't. I noticed there's no plate options unless I missed it, but I don't see any plate options. Our standard plate has TBH in the middle. <laughs> okay. Yep. Typical. I mean, feels like the same speed pretty much as a normal Hellfire. I'm trying to see if the handling handling feels the same. I think. A little bit more tough to tell in the rain, but right, maybe it's a placebo effect. But I feel like. This feels a little more stable in a standard Hellfire in regards to handling. Ooh. Can use this. Traffic moves out of our way. Well, you can cycle through all the. Yeah. First person. This is so cool. I love it. I love it. I hope they give us more. I mean, why not? They should give us more, like maybe. Um, you know, give us some NFS vibes with some supercar, cop cars and stuff. Can it still wheelie? No, can't wheelie anymore. Oh, that sucks. It cannot wheelie anymore. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's see if everything opens up here. It looks so cool, man. I, I absolutely love that. Okay, vehicle... Why is there... Prius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, vehicle preferences, doors, all, and nice. Everything opens up. Same engine model. Interior. Wow. They did change it up a little bit, though. Wow. The laptop and everything. It, I mean, this was integrated nicely. It wasn't just like plopped on there. Like it, it, it was done right. The shotguns there in the middle. That's so cool. We got the police gear back here. Pretty much the same as the Stainier LE Cruiser. Wow, man. I mean, I hate to say it's worth it, but the Stainiers are like, what? The Stainiers are still 4 mil, I think, right? They're, uh. Okay, well, the non trade price. I think, I think, I think this one was like 4, and the other one was somewhere around there, too. Um, so I mean they're they're not they're not cheap. Um, still crazy expensive for this, but I mean you're getting something so unique, you know, and different. I mean it's just it's just cool. It's just cool. I I would 100% definitely go for the trade price though. Do not do not buy it for normal price. Do do the new Vincent Cluck and Bell raid. You know you're gonna save yourself what like 1.5 million something like that. Yeah, like 1.4 million you're gonna save yourself. So it's it's definitely worth definitely worth doing. Um, but yeah, very cool vehicle. I definitely like it. Obviously, no bias at all. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.